You mentioned the Madden video game, and I'm wondering if you've ever actually played. You know, I, I haven't played in quite a while. I know when my kids were growing up, they would play it, and I'd watch them, and they'd beat me, but, yeah. What about him and his personality, you know, enabled him to be this huge, enduring figure that seemed to transcend the game? Yeah, I um, mean, you could probably ask... Uh, ask everybody that question, but he, you know, I think it was his enthusiasm, love for football, and, and he just had a great perspective on you know, the left foot spot, the right foot spot. I mean, he had so many things that just, you know, they were, they were obvious, but then when, when he brought them to light, they, he did it in a, in a humorous yet educational way and, and uh, just always seemed to say the right thing and have the right mix of, um, you know, whatever the situation called for, whether it's, uh, you know, emotionally or, um, you know, analytically, uh, whatever, whatever was called for, I always seemed to have the right, the right words, the right uh, perspective, and, and did it in a way that was um, easy to understand, concise, and as I said, a lot of times, uh, humorous. And um, you, not to put you on the spot, but are there any sort of pieces of advice that he gave you or any of the interactions from your times with him that really stood out? Yeah, sure, there are a lot of them. Um, yeah, I'll keep that between John and myself. Okay, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the Super Bowl 36. Uh, John Madden was on the call of that. I'm wondering if you ever have gone back and listened to his analysis of that game and your team and just what your thoughts are thinking back to that game and having him intertwined with your career in that way with that game. Uh, right. Well, it's again. I feel like my my career, um, you know, crisscrossed with John on a number of a number of times. I mean, it's probably too many to count. But again, all the Giants, all the Giants games, the Giants Super Bowls. Uh, I think he did either my first or second game in Cleveland. I forget which one it was. It was a preseason game. It was a national game. He came in and did that. So you know, right off the bat in Cleveland and. And then through Cleveland to, you know, as you said, Super Bowl 36 and all that. So, um, and then, you know, like, as I mentioned, the, the uh, top 100 and all that. I mean, I've, I've um, talked to John and, and had, you know, on, on a lot of different levels and had a lot of different experiences and conversations with him. All good. And um, um, so it's, you know, I feel like I've been through, you know, seen, seen you know, had the opportunity to, to see a lot, learn a lot, and um, experience a lot. The the years I was, the year I was in Denver, um, you know, we we played him a couple of times, and that was a little different seeing him in the same division and seeing him and seeing him through that lens as a as a real competitor on the other side of the field. I mean, I was a you know had a very minor role in it, but still to to face off against. Um, you know, Al Davis, John Madden, the Raiders, there was a certain, you know, mystique or and charisma that they had that was, um, I, I'm glad I experienced it. I know you were interviewed for the documentary coming up about John that'll be out in uh, a couple of days, but what did it mean to have that invite and what did you want to express in the documentary um, once you, you know, clearly accepted that invite? Um, well, I, I mean, I think I just kind of answered the questions that they asked me. Um, I, I mean, it's, I'm not, I, I didn't have anything to do with putting it together or anything like that. They, they asked to, um, if I, I would, you know, do a few questions on camera, which I did. And so what they use and how they put together, I'm sure it'll be great, but I, I'm not really sure. Obviously, there have been a lot of folks that have been extremely impactful in the NFL. Rozelle comes to mind, and there's many others. But has there been anybody, in your view, that's had as significant an impact as John had, considering, as you mentioned before, the many t different types of careers, if you will, and ways he impacted the game? Uh, well, it's, I don't think it's really my thing to rate him. But um, the comments I made at the beginning are, 
I think represent you know what a big impact he had, whether he had more or less than somebody else. I don't know, but whatever it is, he you know he he affected multiple generations and and again, I just think it's unique in the the different ways that he was um, you know such a big part of the game. I mean, from again coaching to the Madden game to broadcasting to um, you know being involved in rule changes for the safety of the players and, um, you know, increased diversity and hiring and things like that. I mean, he was just, he, he touched a lot of areas and, and all of them really, I think, start with for the betterment of the game. I mean, obviously as a coach, you're trying to help your team. You're not trying to help all the other teams, but, um, but what he did with the Raiders and, and what he accomplished um, during his tenure there was was remarkable, and he was a Hall of Fame coach, and then all the other stuff that came on top of it. It's, you know, what a man, what a career. And did he impact your thinking at all, particularly in in any of those areas that you just specified, whether it's uh, diversity or um, you know player safety? Was there any significant impact on you in in that area? Well, I think any time he spoke, I listened. Uh, so whether that was in a private conversation or, um, you know, a, a group meeting or a forum where, you know, other people spoke, for example, on a, on a rule change or something like that or uh, on a conference call with the top 100, uh, I mean, I always wanted to hear what he had to say. And, um, and he always had a good perspective, even if he maybe didn't quite agree with exactly where he was coming from, you could certainly see where he was coming from, and and you know maybe there were other reasons that, um, you know might might override you know an opinion that was a little different from his. But you could always see where he was coming from, and, and it was always I felt like you know what was best for the game and a very unselfish view, and um, you know and he presented it um, and he presented it that way, and I think that's why it was so so well respected is because his. His um, motivation, I think, was for the game and for the fans and for the entertainment and the safety and all the things that are right about football. Um, that's what he stood for. And, and um, you know, uh, there's obviously a balance in there somewhere. And sometimes the, those things, you know, run together and cl conflict a little bit. But I thought his, um, his opinions and his, uh, where, where he was on, on things was really for the most, for all, I mean, really, most of it was very good and and healthy, and um, and and he was at the same time. John wasn't, you know, overly um, um, he, he wanted to hear what everybody else had to say. He wanted to hear the other opinions. He wanted to, and you know, and he might change his mind a little bit. You know, if like, hey, that's a good point. I really thought of it that way. Let me, you know, but there's something to that or. It was very, I would say, open-minded, and and was a good was a good listener. You know, when you broadcast the game, you know, you're the talker, you're not the listener, and 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 I think maybe that came across um, as it should. That that's what his role was at that in those uh, as a broadcaster. But you know, as in, in as I said, rule discussions and top 100 discussions, and, and even in private discussions, he he asked a lot of questions, and he um, you know was always interested to hear what. What the point of view was. Sometimes he agreed with it. Sometimes he didn't. But um, I know in, in our conversations there was a lot of mutual respect there. That you know I could see where he was coming from if it was maybe a little different than the way I was thinking, and, and vice versa. And I think that's healthy. You know, it's it's very healthy. And, uh, but he was a great listener, and 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 I would say I always enjoyed um, the uh, production meetings with John because the his insight into the game was was very good and the, a lot of the questions he would ask were sometimes kind of um you know they had a lot of depth to him maybe it was something that i hadn't thought that much about and he he noticed it and said hey um you know is, what about this or what about that and you start thinking about it and say well it's pretty pretty observant i'm i, I might even miss that you know and maybe what's something of the team you know what our one of our opponents was doing or why they were doing it or or how we were doing something, and and then that you know stimulated another, um, you know line of thought. So he was he he was great to work with, and and just loved football.
just loved football. I think he loved every aspect of it, coaching it, announcing it, you know, improving it, making it a better game, making it more exciting, making it better for the fans, making it safer, making it more entertaining, uh, and and the presentation of it, you know, in an entertaining way, way as well. So, um, just a you know wonderful man with a with a great perspective, and as I said, just just did a lot for our did a lot for the game. You mentioned the video game, the Madden video game, and I'm wondering, not if you've ever actually played, but did you have any, have you, or have you looked at it just to see how your, you know, the players coming up that have connected with the game maybe are seeing things or as it relates to coaching, you know, and connecting with the, the players that have? Yeah, you know, I, I haven't played in quite a while. I know when my kids were growing up, they would play it and I'd watch them and they'd beat me, but... Yeah. <laughs> Which team? Pardon? Which team were you? Do you remember when you I played? I don't know. I don't. Okay. Okay. Take your way back. Ah! Ah! Millennial fuckwad!